<laughs> okay. Let's go. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna spawn out my dev tooltip. Oh really? <laughs> okay. You guys are naughty in the chat. <laughs> evil, doing evil things. <laughs> okay. And there we go. No gravity flips, please. You you can zoop me, but I'm trying to show off stuff. Can I get a gravity flip backwards? <laughs> of course, we're crazy and stars like when. You need to gravity flip more. <laughs> yeah, it, it all starts. Yeah. Just I, li I like how things. we now set it up. Okay, yeah, bring, bring that back down. Okay. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to spawn out your dev tooltip. We got that one right there. I'm also going to show my laser so you guys can see what's going on. I'm going to get real close to the ears. And remember, this only works if you have bones inside of the character. So I'm going to select the bone by pressing down on my secondary, which uh, if you're using Oculus, you'd be pressing down your joystick, um, pressing down your touchpad for Vive, or if you're using uh, the index, it's also pressing down on your touchpad. The tro Yeah, already the trolling power, I know. <laughs> and then what you're going to do is with the hand menu, you're going to open up forward through inspector, and then it's going to show the bones, and you're wanting to go up into the hierarchy that you want. So th right now there's smooth transform on all of these bones. We're not gonna want that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the component. Yes, I love Frox too. Okay, so let me scale this guy, this up so you guys can see it. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to physics. Okay. Dynamic bones, dynamic bone chain. And then once that's inside of here, you just applied out those dynamic bones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to uh, clean the smooth transforms in children. That gets rid of all yeah, the smooth transforms. In case, yeah, this one, this, you only have to do this step if you have the avatar previously set up with smooth transforms. If you're doing a fresh one, then you, can, uh, you don't need this step, the cleaning one. Yep. And then we're going to click Setup from Children, and that's going to apply all the dynamic bones to the ears. Yep. So now you can oh, see that you can move it around. Now let's say if you want to have gripping, right? And you want it so that he can actually grab onto his ears. The only thing that you have to do now for that is right this checkbox you see that where it says uh, is grabbable. You're just going to check mark that. And then now try to grab it, Frox. Yep. And there yeah, you go. It around. Magical, huh? I know, you, 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 should, you should play with it, uh, Nick. It's, uh, it's really awesome. Yes. <laughs> yep, it's very easy. And again, if you guys missed it, you, uh, we'll be having a clip of it so then you guys can see um, how it's done and we'll be posting that. We'll, we'll probably even have that as a clip of a video as well as like showing off other things for it. But that's generally all that you have to really do. So like I said, it would only take about like one minute to set up. I now want yeah, one in my nose bones. and you can mess with my nose. Yeah. <laughs> we should, we should mm. show that in a moment, but like, let's show, let's, uh, let's uh, show one more thing. You see, essentially this old ear, it's still using the smooth transform. And one of the benefits of dynamic bones is also it translate, like when you move, move the character around, it transforms it essentially into bobbiness, whereas like the original smooth transform, it only does rotations. Yep. So that was the old one. Like if I'm going like left or right, it wasn't like moving the ears around. And also, if you guys want to change the dynamic bone values, I'll just show you guys that real quick. I hold on a spectator. I could turn on. So under the dynamic yeah. bones, you can increase the stiffness, the elasticity, the dampening, the inert inertia force, and the inertia. Um, and you can. Inertia, sorry. Um, is bone grabbing limited by permissions as well? Like, I was just trying to grab your tail for example. Yeah, but to... yeah, if you're a spectator, you can't grab. Okay. Inertia. Thank you, love. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then you can change all those values right here. You can even adjust out gravity, too. Um, so, you just can mess around with it if you have a character that has dynamic bones and just set the gripping on in. <laughs> yep, it's even easier than Unity. Okay. 